It's recording. Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tessa Lamping and this is Little Nova. <laughs> I thought it would be cute to show you my new little Lossop so puppy. Her name is Nova because those um, are the chart patterns that I focus on. Supernovas actually is what Tim Sykes calls them and so I thought I'd name her after the supernovas. So here's Little Nova. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that would be a fun introduction, and <laughs> uh, sorry about my bed being a mess. I need to make it. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to go over, oh, and also apologize for not making a YouTube vid video in a little while. I've been super busy. Anyways, today I've just been continuing. Uh, continuing focusing on, like I said, the supernova patterns, and Nova reminds me every day of what I'm here to focus on, and so LITB was the stock this morning that I traded, um, but before I get into um, my trade, uh, actually no, I'll just talk about this first. <laughs> So it's been uptrending for a couple days. Uh, it's a multi-day runner, as Tim Sykes says, all the time. And here's a 10-day chart. See, it's gradually uptrending. So I'm always happy when they continue spiking higher and higher and higher because there creates more opportunity for that panic to dip by into. But they don't always go to the moon, <laughs> like they say, no stock goes to the moon, but <laughs> uh, anyways, it tops out. They always do, and they come back down eventually. Now, there are some freak stocks like BYND that goes all the way up and actually does well, and I think um, from what I've been studying, True Religion Jeans, that kept on going as well, and ended up working out. So, not saying it never happens, but very rarely. Anyways, um, it topped out, oh, even KODK went up, back down, patterns repeat. <laughs> so, that is exactly what I look for in every single trade. Now, I'm not too good at buying the breakouts, as you can see right here. That's, you would want to buy about two dollars. Oh, yeah, maybe even, you can do 199, you can anticipate it just slightly at 195 just in case it fails. It gives you some leeway to get out of. Um, you can buy it when it's confirmed up here around 203. I'm busy during those times with my kiddo who is uh, with grandma right now, but Eventually, I'll be able to possibly pay attention to breakouts, but like I said, I'm usually missing them. Plus, you need stocks to trade to be able to find those. <laughs> so, if you don't have stocks to trade, then good luck. <laughs> Anyways, once it goes up for a couple times or a couple days or whatever, I'm waiting for that panic. And like I said, the higher it goes up, the potentially lower it can come down and I want to buy that dip and so that is what I waited for that was in my plan which I'll go over momentarily as you can see I'm looking for these big candlesticks and that's what I consider my panic um, other traders have uh, different names for them. I just keep it simple and call them morning panics. They could, I think this is also considered the dip and rip, but don't quote me on that. Uh, I just call them morning panics because they're big long candlesticks that go down. And then by watching level two, I look for the reversal, uh, the uptrend, the turnaround, whatever you want to call it. And I'm... Uh, put my order in about 10 cents above the bottom so that way I have some leeway to buy in and I got an average price of uh, 2 16 for a total of 100 shares 
and it sold at 225 and the reason why I sold on that was just because it was getting really slow. I saw a pretty big sell order at 226 and I almost made 10 cents a share. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it. There's nothing wrong with locking in singles. Actually, that is my entire foundation that Tim has been teaching and I'm following it. And so that's what I'm going off of. And... I've been growing my account. Uh, um, I'm still using small share size, like 100 shares, but oh well. It's growing. I, I don't want to use too much more than that right now until my account grows, which is only, well, um, I did pretty good on this one, so $8. Um, sorry, I was trying to remember whether or not I posted this one yet. I think I did. <laughs> so busy. Anyways, that was my trade this morning. It was all done within 10 minutes. I, I had to wait for the panic. Um, as you can see, I canceled OPK because uh, it spiked without me and I wasn't going to chase it. Uh, this spike. Oh, what did I put my buy order at? Uh, Five fifty three. So five fifty three was right here. Okay, so I wanted it to break out above here and when I saw a lot of the green candles it was strength. So I put my buy order at five fifty three. I didn't get executed and I didn't want to chase. And it only went up about thirty cents, which that's a good single too. Um, it would have equaled out about the same. There's no way I would have held through this. So um, let's see, 553. I might have made 10 cents a share, which on these higher price stocks doesn't go as far. So I'm not complaining at all. And I'm still waiting for this stinker to have another morning panic. I want morning panics to dip by into. That's all I focus on right now. And I still watch other stocks to check out the breakout. And this isn't even a real breakout. A breakout would be above here in the 630s, 40s area. But it broke above here and it has resistance around uh, 563. So yeah, where it's holding right, uh, right there, where it has support. But there's an extra resistance, so it makes sense. Um, anyways, oh, um, these are blue light canceling glasses, by the way. I've been getting a lot of headaches from staring at the screen so much, so these actually really help. So go on to Amazon and look up blue light canceling glasses. Helps a ton. Just saying. Um, so anyways, I want to get into this. This is my website, uh, tessalamping.com. Sorry, I don't want to get too big. I keep everything pretty much on these small screens because otherwise I can't click around. But yeah, tessalamping.com, make sure you check it out because I try to do weekly blog posts depending on my schedule. Sometimes there's more, sometimes it's every other week, so... I get as consistent as my schedule allows, but I talk about taking singles versus home runs, which is what all my trades, what my successful trades are based on. Because the other day I chased T A O P, I think it was. I'll get into that in a minute. I have it all recorded on Profitly, so I can look back and review my trades. You can look on my trades and review my trades. Um, but I chased one stock because all of these traders, they're taking, like, they're making thousand dollars, couple thousand, several hundred, getting a hundred percent, two hundred percent, four hundred percent. And congratulations to them. That is wonderful. But I had FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And so I really wanted to do that. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just buy. And it was at 1390, I believe, on the dip. 
Um, and then it spiked to 1480. I should have taken that. I should have. That's my single. It was a dollar a share, a little over a dollar a share. That was perfect. But what did I do? Got greedy. I'm like, you know what? Kodak just went to 60 something. So I'm just going to hold. And you know what happened? It tanked four dollars on me so here I'm looking at the previous resistance um, I'm like at the one year or five year chart or something like that I buy nearly at the top could have sold for a safe single could have profited and then the second that I realized that where it's kind of leveling out at is um, sorry neighbors dogs um, is resistance and that's where it was coming back down and kind of topping at um, I went to click sell, sell so I'd be up a little bit of a profit, and it just cracked, panicked, four dollars, and it's like, oh no, I'm so stupid, why'd I do this, I bought the top, and it panicked on me, like, this is what I had issues with at the very beginning, and ugh, that's what I get for chasing, this is why I don't chase, this is why I wait for those morning panics to take these singles, and at least... Taking singles did help me on the recovery a little bit. I only lost 17%, which is huge. I mean, that's a single, and it's going to take me two, three trades to make that back because I take such small singles. And, well, it panicked a little bit. It bounced. I sold at 11.50, I think, and then it panicked down to 9 or was it 8 Eight or nine dollars, ridiculous. And then it spiked back up. I bought at twelve, which I was way late to and should not have done to begin with. But I got into that mindset of making back my money. Also, it was such a beautiful panic that I've been trained that it should bounce. And so I bought in late, mind you, and I sold at twelve sixty, which is a single, which I should have taken because my first single was way better than that but as being uh being so greedy the first time i wasn't gonna make that sec uh, same mistake twice so i locked in a single made back half my profits that's why i wrote this blog post about uh taking singles versus home runs and i highly recommend you go to teslamping.com i'll leave a link below um to teslamping.com to profitly also you can type in your questions with Tim Sykes' name into Google and almost all your questions are going to be answered because he has written over 8,000 blog posts, which I studied them all. I read them all. And I recommend you do the same. Any question you have, he has answered. <laughs> At least all of my questions, but I don't know what questions to necessarily ask. And he answers them before I even have the question. Or when I have the question, I'm reading one that answers it. So here's something, um, why it's important, the psychology of trading. Um, I like to have fun. I had to take this picture with my toe, actually. Because <laughs> it's a screenshot. And so that's why my leg's in it, because I'm trying to take a picture. I had to press the space bar with my toe. So <laughs> full transparency. <laughs> That's why it looks like that. Just fun fact. <laughs> but cutting losses quickly. Um, singles. Are you a home run taker? Are you are, are you a gambler like that? Or do you like to walk in safe profits? And make sure you get your education. And so it's all about mindset. And so make sure you check out my blog post. Also, um... You can check out my record. Um, <laughs> sorry, I love that um, my teacher recognizes his students, so I thought that would be cool to insert into the website. So thank you, team, for adding that. But okay, so I did add it this morning. But as you can see, I take my losses really quick. There's that huge loss that I was talking about. Um, I have my profit chart from Profitly onto my website, but if you want to check even better statistics, my profit chart, everything, um, I'll leave a link so you can sign up to Profitly, which I highly recommend. Um, it just promotes full transparency. Um, 
so I'll leave that link below so you can be transparent or read all my stuff and other stuff. Uh, here's how I'm gradually coming back. My biggest games originally, uh, which aren't shown here because this is since I live traded, um, but you can see more uh, if you click there and go to Profitly to see all my statistics from paper trading all the way to live trading and so forth. So. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that out there because I know a lot of people have those questions. Also, which tools do I use? Right here. I eventually um, should do a post on my broker, I suppose. But here's Trader Sync, uh, which is my online trading journal that I use. To, uh, it's my personal journal. This one's not public, even though I make it public by reviewing it all on Profitly. Or not on Profitly, <laughs> by reviewing it all on YouTube and videos that I'm doing. Um, so I highly recommend you uh, use TraderSync for your own personal stuff. And reviewing trades is absolutely phenomenal. So I love it. Uh, stocks to trade is how I find all my stocks. I recommend every trader use stocks to trade. Um, you won't find a lot of stocks without it. So you need stocks to trade. Like I said, Profitly is um, the website that I stay transparent show you guys that was the profit chart below and then I need to actually add um, another uh, blog post right here on my broker E-Trade uh, and so that's all in the making slowly but surely like I said this is my uh, Trader Sync online training journal and I'm really proud to talk about my second uh, green month. Now, mind you, these first and second months should have been green, but I was still, uh, this was, I had traded like one or two days by the end of that month, and then this one, um, I was figuring out my brokers and stuff like that. So I take these with a grain of salt, but because I've had these losses, I had to recover my trading psychology right here, which is why I say, read those blog posts. Trading psychology is everything. And then now you can see that I'm recovering slow profits because of um, here I was using a hundred dollar position sizes and because of the platform issues that I wasn't aware about and just getting used to, um, the losses were a lot bigger. And now I'm, uh, this one, I was using like one share sizes, ten share sizes, just something really small so that way if I lost, oh, my kids all said picking noses, <laughs> um, I, it would be very tiny, but that also means my gains are really tiny. That's why I encourage you to focus on your percent gains and your percent losses versus the dollar profits because you're training your brain. It's all about mindset. and. That makes a huge difference. If you focus on your mindset and the percent gains, your dollar profits will come over time. So, psychology, huge. And I'll do more blog posts on psychology in the future as I learn more about psychology as well. And there's uh, just so much to go over. And only doing one blog post a week, having time for that, if I'm lucky, cut me some slack. But anyways, I'm using... Um, uh, bigger position size here. That's why it said that um, my dollar profit's $14. So I just started sizing up a little bit more using $100 um, or 100 share position sizes, which is why you see an $8 profit today because um, I used 100 shares on the $2 stock. And so it was $224.98 that I, I um, was my total buying, like how much it all costed. And so I made a little over $8, basically 8 bucks. But that's how you grow your account. Um, as I grow $8 here, $10, maybe I'll get lucky with a dollar share. No. Take singles. Um, only take dollar shares with the bigger um, stocks, like a at more pricier stocks, like $10 a share stocks, because um, then you know, a dollar a share is like a single, or 50 cents to a dollar. It varies. So don't go into a $1 stock thinking you're going to make a dollar. No. Focus on like 10 cents. 
grow it uh, gradually over time. So that is this, and I want to talk about that. And then this is uh, my profit league. I I won't get into the details of it all, but every day that uh, or every day uh, I've been posting my watch lists. I've done 35 of them. At first I wasn't doing them too often because I didn't like people saying, oh, I rely on your watch list. Because uh, you shouldn't follow anyone's loops, don't follow anyone's trades. These are for me personally. They're not me telling you, hey, you should trade these or you should watch these. This is 100% I'm watching these. And I'm posting these publicly so that way I hold myself accountable and I can get judged on them. Uh, my teacher, my teachers uh, can see what I'm doing and it's for me and it's cool that everyone's watching them and learning from them and seeing what I'm doing but this is not for anyone to follow except for me. These are my trend plans and they're not a trade list. Or a watch list. Some days I'm not even trading, uh, especially if there's not the right setup. And so um, that is that. I I have noticed that since I've been posting my watch list publicly, my trading has been going up. So that's another thing. I uh, I highly recommend you join Trader Sync and post your watch list publicly. I also do videos. Um, on Profitly. Um, I have some here on YouTube, but I also do them on Profitly too. When you're not seeing me post them on YouTube, I'm posting them to Profitly because I'm, I I just like to do both. And so, um, definitely record your own videos and post them. I um, They're all public. You can access them. Everyone can access them. So, I'll leave a link below so you can join Profitly and get access to even other traders' videos. These aren't just mine. You can watch everyone's. You can watch your own, but it holds you accountable. And that's the whole point. I'm uh, posting videos to explain my trades, why I'm doing this, so in the future I can look back on this and I can say that I was 100% transparent with everything. And you can see what I'm doing, and I can see what I'm doing, um, to grow my account over time. And when I eventually do make that million dollars, which I will, whether it takes me 20, 30 years, I don't care. This is my journey, and it will happen in time. But it's cool to look back on stuff like this. So, this is how I stay transparent. And, um, like I said, I'll leave a link to um, Profitly, Trader Sync, my website, all below. So I hope you like this video, um, and I hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. I'm going to go make some dinner. <laughs> have a good one.